Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Hi guys, this is Rob from Arizona Talk Radio and Arizona Living. And I uh, wanted to take the time to talk about Arizona casinos. And uh, you may or may not be a person that likes to go to the casino. Uh, like if you're in Vegas, stuff like that, you don't necessarily have to gamble or anything like that, but there's a lot of other activities you could do too. Like uh, just enjoy a really, uh, like we have a couple casinos where it'd just be nice to stay at the motel and, and swimming pool and enjoy the food. Uh, but in, um, one of the things in Arizona that's kind of unique is uh, Arizona people like to find ways to escape, especially in the summertime when it's really hot, to places like movies and uh, shopping and things like that. And another thing that's really popular is, of course, uh, casinos. So uh, what I wanted to talk about a little bit is we have some great casinos. We have casinos all over the place. Uh, one of my favorites is... Uh, Casino Arizona. Uh, it just seems to do pretty well. We go to uh, Fort McDowell a few times. We've gone up to Talking Stick. Uh, there's some down south that uh, we like. I uh, uh, can't remember their names. <laughs> anyway, they're, uh, they all have a different flavor and they're all a little different. And it really comes down to if uh, you like to gamble and gambling can be kind of fun, but you got to learn how to manage your money. So uh, you can have a wonderful time with $200 in your pocket and being conservative and uh, learning to say when that $200 is gone, you're done. That was your entertainment. Uh, of course, when you go to casinos, you have to decide, do you want to play slot machines, video poker, or just play the tables? Of course, your odds are a lot different. Uh, you know, everything is in the odds of the uh, casino, uh, but some are better than others. So uh, Sherry and I, we, we enjoy going to the casinos and we love to play slot machines knowing that they're not the most profitable things. And uh, some nights you can go home with uh, you know what you spent and sometimes you have a profit, but most of the time you are just donating to the casino. But it's entertainment. And so it all depends on how you look at it. But uh, if you uh, wanna enjoy a night of just being an adult and and enjoy the bells and whistles and then uh, the yelling and screaming and the uh, uh, excitement of possibly winning something uh, exciting. That's that's what casinos are all about. And so uh, I definitely, you know, if you have any issues about addictions or anything like that, then obviously a casino is not for you. But most of the time, uh, most people can go there, uh, learn to regulate their money regulate and manage your money and give yourselves a budget. And I was gonna show you a couple of things that Sherry and I do, um, and uh, two products I wanted to show you. One of the things is casino slot machines are pure luck. There is no uh, magic way of winning one over the other. It's just uh, the random number generators are inside the machines, and it's just, if you hit the right combination, that's what plays on the, on the slot machine. And of course, the odds are in the casino's favor. Uh, another one that's, uh, you know, of course, if you played the table games, that takes more skill and uh, actually has more, uh, uh, a better percentage of allowing you to win. Uh, but you also have to be fairly skillful and know what you're doing. But it doesn't mean you won't be going home with an empty wallet. Uh, one of the other things, if you like video machines, one of the ones you might want to consider is video poker. Uh, video poker has better odds and it actually takes uh, some skill and you can actually do a little better, at least make your money go longer in video poker machines. So there's two things I was going to show you uh, that might be helpful to you if you decide to go to a casino. And if you're in Arizona, we have some wonderful casinos, but let me uh, show you a couple of things I have here. One is, I actually have physically both of these, is one is called the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the gamble box, and I'm holding it up right here. Now, this little gamble box is kind of neat because if you're playing slot machines or video poker or whatever, and say uh, you started with 200 and you actually won three or 350 or something like that, take that 150 and put it in this little box. Now, what's cool about this little box is it comes with a key. I'm showing the key right here. And uh, you can only unlock it when you get home. So uh, it has a slot right here on the side 
where you can put your extra winnings or uh, extra cash in this little box, keep it in your pocket, and uh, it will be money that you won't spend. So if you need something to help you with managing your money, you get home, unlock it, and then take your money out. And uh, uh, you know, then you've had a good time at the casino, had fun, and you haven't devastated your wallet. And uh, so these things are very affordable and I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to get one of these. I, uh, I think they're uh, a neat little tool just to kind of help you manage your money better. The other thing that Sherry and I have learned to do is, uh, is to spend more time playing video poker. Video poker is a little slower game uh, but takes more skills. And we picked up this book right here. Uh, so I'll put it right here where you can see it. Is, uh, uh, it's a great book for uh, learning the basics about, you know, when you get your five card draw, of what some of the best, you know, decision making to make for uh, uh, getting the most out of your money and getting more returns. And uh, if you just want to have a nice evening uh, going into the casino and you sit down at the video poker machine, you can play pennies, you can play quarters, you can play dollars, whatever you like to do. And uh, having some of these basics down about this book has uh, definitely been helpful to me and Sherry. Uh, I'm not kidding you. Yesterday, we actually went to Casino Arizona. I played video poker um, and uh, literally, and it was a 25 cent machine. By the time I was done, uh, I actually made over, no, made about $150 profit. Uh, Sherry, however, just donated <laughs> so <laughs> but uh you know when we play together we share our money anyway so it was uh, uh it went well the common sense uh, there's also cards in this book that you can uh, put in your wallet to help you with combinations to help you make better decisions on picking your five card draws so i just wanted to share that casinos can be fun uh and it really uh, i highly recommend that you learn how to manage your money and um, in the summertime, especially in this, uh, in you know, in Arizona here, it gets really hot. So people are always looking for things to do indoors. And a casino is a great way to go. Uh, Sherry and I tend to want to go in the mornings or afternoons because it's a little less crowded. And uh, it doesn't matter, um, especially if you're playing slot machines or anything. Uh, the chances of winning in the morning or afternoon or evenings are all the same they're all preset machines they don't change them during the day they uh they use little chips in there and it's very costly for them to change the chips if they wanted to and by the way uh slot machines are typically are not networked so there's nobody in the back room going let's make it harder during a saturday night doesn't it doesn't change a thing and then also you might have heard some myths like machines closest to the door might win more than the ones in a in the middle and all that stuff that's a myth too because they're just machines with random number generators all set at a certain percentage that that casino wants and that's just how it is and so you can think what you want you can think these machines have a little bit of a ai to them and stuff they really don't and uh, so, yeah, anyway, good to know, but I wanted to uh, in, uh, share with you a couple of really neat products that Sherry and I use to uh, manage our money better and also to uh, maybe learn a little bit about video poker and uh, uh, make your money go a little farther and at least not lose it as fast. And, uh, you know, if the random generator works great for you, also, uh, you might actually take some money home. <laughs> so if you think that cause you could make a profit doing this kind of stuff in a casino, it's just going to happen. It's all about entertainment. So I want to thank you for watching. Please uh, make sure you like and share our videos and uh, let everybody know what's going on. Don't forget to subscribe and, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. So take it easy, guys. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching Arizona Living with Rob. And uh, I hope you have fun at the casino and uh, you uh, use some of our tools. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time. Bye.